Hey guys, and welcome to another playthrough of Resident Evil 4, as voted by you guys in the Discord. So, this is a... I just got distracted by a message, how professional of me. This is a... <laughs> going to be a little bit different. To celebrate hitting 1k, uh, it's kind of been on the cards for a while. Uh, people in Discord... They know who they are. Set me a challenge. What should we do to um, celebrate this pretty fucking spectacular milestone, if, if I'm being honest? Um, Resident Evil 4 came up, you know, fairly standard. All right, all right. But let's make this interesting, uh, I was told. So, I have to get through this game without using any upgrades. I believe I can upgrade my health. Uh, as and when we find uh, the uh, health herbs, the yellow ones. But we have to use a standard pistol. We have to use a standard shotgun. All of the standard weapons. And I don't believe I'm allowed to upgrade my inventory stash. So this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I would. <laughs> Uh, it, we kept uh, getting close to 1k and then the, the uh, numbers were going down again and I was like, ooh, thank fuck for that. But I guess I couldn't avoid it forever. So here we are, Resident Evil 4, again, with standard weapons, no upgrades. Uh, now, I, I don't think I've completed this uh, Steam version before because I can only do easy or normal. I was going to kick it up a notch to make it really torturous, but I can't. Uh, I have finished it on my Switch, but my Switch is in its case in the other room and I don't even have my dock set up. Oh, I, I don't even, I don't know if I unlocked the harder difficulty on the Xbox version actually. Oh, fuck it. The decision is made. We're going to go normal. Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. I'm going to try mouse and keyboard. See how that goes. I don't know if we're going to be, you know. I'll never forget it. Going to get into the story and all that stuff. In the Maybe we will. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. <gasps> The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. <gasps> Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. <gasps> with the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Or so they thought. Kind of. Yeah, they changed a few things with the storyline in this game, um, from Six the original years trilogy. Have since that horrendous incident. Kind of want to go back to that horrendous incident. That was the fun times, man. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Oh, yeah. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. <laughs> you have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It 
It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Imagination. What the cold? All right. Sorry it took so long. Was that the cold too? We know how it is, us boys. At least that's the official line, anyway. Up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. That's not me I'm worried about, my friends. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Ah, uh, Hannigan. Rian, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hannigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's <laughs> right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So basically... We have no intel whatsoever. Excellent. We also have these two assholes that are just jerking off, doing absolutely fuck all. We have a handgun, we have a few bullets and a first aid spray. Well, that's not exactly fantastic, is it? Still, it will get us by. Wow, it's uh, strange coming back to this game after so long. And I don't even know why I'm really shooting these birds, because, you know, money, well, we can't really do a huge amount with money in this uh, challenge. I guess we can have it and, you know, sell stuff and just see how much money we can rack up. Uh, I guess first aid sprays aren't out of the question. We can, we can certainly get some of those. But this, Resident Evil 4, this is where everything changed for the Resident Evil series. You know, um, some changes for the best, some, well, very controversial, let's just say that. There's various small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly unusual here. Good. We don't like unusual. So, uh, I hope I've set my buttons up correctly. I have. Lovely, lovely. Right, okay. Yeah, we're probably going to be leaning quite heavily into the knife uh, in this playthrough. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey, sir. What an asshole. But then we have just kind of barged into his house. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Oh. God, how I hate her. Sorry to have bothered you. God, how I hate Ashley. Yeah, this guy's... He's a little bit tasty. It's not too cold in here for him, Leon. Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler's not going to help you, Milado. Well, that looks like we've angered the locals. Uh, Shit. I think Wingus and Dingus just took the dirt nap. Is 
everything okay? Peachy. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. No choice. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Uh -huh. Understood. So, we had no choice. That's the official line. He's not a zombie. No, he is not. Um, kind of want these guys to come to us, to be honest. We can jump out. Well, there's some bullets upstairs. Let's go grab those. Yeah, this game, I mean, personally, like, obviously this is a good game, right? But it's it has aged. Uh, I noticed when I played it last year on the Switch, which is actually not a bad port of the game. Um, surprisingly good, actually. Eh, let's go out this window. But it's definitely, definitely aging. Hey, dude. Right, let's start leaning on our blade a little bit. We're going to want to save as many bullets as we can, after all. It's going to be weird. You know, I've never carried the standard handgun all the way through the game. So, I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know how difficult it's going to get. Um, and our case isn't exactly big. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I'm allowed to upgrade the the size of the inventory. I think I might have to. But we'll see. We'll see what everybody says. If everybody's dead against upgrading the inventory, then we won't upgrade the inventory. We'll see how we go. But we're going to need a lot of health items. Um, right. Uh, we don't need to save. Famous last words. Ooh. Do we even want to kill the burbs? I mean, I guess, because there is a chance that they can drop ammo. We can hear the dog, or the wolf, whatever it is. We'll go save Mr. Wolfie. Hey, we got a nade. That wasn't bad. Right, come on, pal. There you go. Get a first aid spray on that foot and you'll be fine, my friend. Get out of here, you little scamp. Now... Let's continue. You know, this game does have a wonderful atmosphere to it. I think it is helped by the fact that um, there's no music. There's very little music, I should say. It uses sounds very, very well. And we're going to certainly... Make every bullet count where we can. Okay. Just you? Alright. How's it for you, Leon? Still cold? Well, there's some birds around here. Maybe not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who said that? Come to Daddy Leon. Oh. Oh, I guess she won't be nagging anyone ever again. Hello. Alright, guys. I'm trying to, like, look at the stuff. But, you know, hey. Whatever. Hey, why didn't you kick? You should have kicked. I don't know why he didn't kick then. That was kind of annoying. But, hey. It happens, I suppose. Uh, some more health, which is going to be very nice. Always remember to double tap these boxes because you never know what we like for herbage yeah we're good i do love organizing the inventory now they did get, like resident evil village had a really cool inventory system uh but you know this is just infinitely more satisfying There's something about it you know brings back some wonderful memories i hope my keyboard's not too loud as well do have a rubber um, membrane over the top of it that's supposed to dampen the sound. Uh, right, so what do we? They guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. Yeah. So Ashley Graham. Oh my God, how I hate Ashley Graham. The most irritating character in the Resident Evil franchise. Well, yeah. I'm, no, no, she's up there. She is up there, man. Right. Hello. 
Come on. Whilst we're young, I mean, obviously that's a little bit late for some of us. Ah, oh, you little fuck. Come on. Let's get this over with. Yeah, same to you, pal. There we go. I'm pretty sure we've already killed you, by the way. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, good thing there's lots of boxes here. Boxes with nothing in, apparently. But we'll take the handgun bullets. We don't want to save as many handgun bullets as we possibly can. Unfortunately, as we all know, they only stack in units of 50. Yeah, I think we will need a bigger inventory. We're just going to have to have a bigger inventory, I think. Time for some more Metal Gear action. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Oh, thank you. Find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Playing manual? Brilliant. Let's smash that fourth wall straight away. Um, okay. Let's have a little peep at what's going on in the village. Yeah. It doesn't exactly look great here, does it? I mean, it looks like a perfectly normal village. Looks like we've stepped straight back into the 1600s. Complete with burning corpses. Lovely. Love what they've done with this place. Okay. Do we have to look at something? Pretty sure we can just... There we go. Alright, assholes. There's no easy way of doing this. Let's uh, upset the locals. Let's go grab us a shotgun, because we're allowed the shotgun. We're just not allowed to upgrade it. Um, okay. Hopefully we'll find some grenades and things as well. We don't care. We don't care. Come on. What are they planning? Yep. Literally only want the shotgun. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Right, okay. Well, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. I'm just here for this. We can loot the... Oh, and that. We'll have that too. Yes, yes. Out of the way, chump. Okay, so, where's the chainsaw? Right, there we go, that'll do. Ooh, brutal. Excuse me, love. Can you die, please? Thank you. And you, dude. Chainsaw guy's coming, that's fine. Ooh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Here come the locals, out in force. What have you got? Flash grenade? Well, yeah, we'll take it. Take that, too. Alright. You know the drill, Leon. Adopt the position. Ah, one of my friends actually said that we can hide in this room here. Which room was it? Ah, uh, hey, dude. Dr. Salvador, could you fuck off for a minute, please? I'm trying to do science. Right, I've actually lost where we're supposed to be, so. That's fine. Oh, hey, Dr. Salvador. There we go. That's one way to get out of a shit situation. Now. Oh, there we go. That's the hit of the whole fruit. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's grab the moss. Now we want to try and harvest as many of these guys as possible. Although it doesn't look like... Ow. Cheers, pal. Doesn't look like they actually dropped anything that useful, sadly. Which is unfortunate. Just drop loads of money. Well, that's one thing that we don't really need a whole load of. Oh, La Campana. 
Get the fuck out of here. Church is in session. Lord Sutler. Pretty sure we've already killed him. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Yeah, I guess so. Resident Evil. There it is. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Yeah, actually, at the start of the um, game, when they first destroy the car, you can actually go back and look at the car. It's fallen off the bridge. Yeah, it's, it's a little thing. It doesn't really do anything, but, you know. Let's grab all of this cash. Not that we can do anything with this cash. And now, let's go plundering this village. There's a lot to plunder. This is the door I was trying to get in, but they've kind of ransacked it. Apparently, they, the enemies can't actually... Right, so there's a map. Actually get through here. Yeah, we are gonna have to Yeah. Okay. We will have to upgrade our inventory because we're not gonna be able to Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna be able to get through it otherwise. I mean we will, it'd just be it would just really won't be fun. Right, okay. Okay, so let's start harvesting everything up. Shotgun shells, definitely going to want those puppies. It's going to be weird not having my red nine. I literally, I always have the red nine. Oh, and we're allowed to buy treasure maps as well, of course. Just not allowed to buy anything that isn't going to enhance. Oh, it's so weird as well not being able to like switch to weapons. You have to go into your inventory every time you have to switch. It's what I mean. This game... Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. This game has aged quite badly. I actually think this game almost has aged worse than some of the originals, but that's just my preference. Um, I mean, Resident Evil 5 as well. Oh, yeah. That, that, that one is rough to go back to now. That one is very rough to go back to. But, you know. This was a different time. Good old GameCube. This, I tell you what. When I first played this on the GameCube all those years ago, it literally blew my mind. I literally could not believe what I was seeing from the GameCube. It was very impressive. And it holds up pretty well, like, visually now. It's not bad. I mean, this is an enhanced port for the PC because the original PC port apparently was a load of old dog shit. Uh, we, I do actually have that, but I could never get it to work. So, you know, go figure, I guess. Who the fuck needs to use a door? Not Leon. Ah, uh, incendiary grenades. Excellent. We're going to be leaning heavily into grenades as well because we're not going to have really anything to do serious damage. We will get uh, weapons later on. Like, we get the magnum and stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's just a basic magnum. What a sinister looking fellow, indeed. Yeah, they've. Um, fans have just released a mod for this game. What seems to be food has started to rot, but no one has bothered to throw it away. Yeah, I don't think they care, Leon. Yeah. Um, yeah, a fan mod for this game has just come out, which overhauls the graphics. Now, although it's impressive what they've done, they've cleaned up the textures, they've added a new lighting engine and stuff like that. I don't think it's quite ready yet, sadly. Now, the main problem with it as well is if you watch the video on YouTube of the fan mod you can't really tell like that they've done that much they have because I've seen actual proper screenshots of it but on YouTube because of the compression it is you can see it but it isn't as obvious 
as if you're playing it, um, you know, one to one. But they have done a fantastic job with it. Let's go. Okay. So we've got one more building to loot. I believe. Well, actually, we've got a couple more buildings. Fucking hell. Yeah, Leon gives no shits about the furniture in this place, does he? Many small insects are feasting on leftovers. Yeah, well, there's plenty more bodies to feast on. Now we've been through here like a fucking truck. Lovely. Why did I push Q? I was going to say, Q doesn't bring up inventory. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Works for the PC, I suppose. Right. Um, now, I'm pretty sure there's some more stuff up here. Some shells. Definitely have the shells. Seems as if no one slept in it for quite some time. Yeah, there's no, no time for sleep around here, is there? People got shit to do, Leon. Can't just be... Can't all be lazy Americans. Lazy Westerners, I suppose. In some countries, you have to work for a living. Now, there is a gem here. I think there's another gem somewhere as well. Somewhere. Also, the uh, aiming with the mouse in this game uh, is anus. It's actual anus. It's really not good. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's another gem here somewhere. We'll find it. Grab some more dosh. Get some more potatoes. I can hear the cows mooing. Go get ourselves a nice steak. Now, if this is, was Resident Evil Village, we probably could get ourselves a nice steak. Right, so alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Don't let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we're ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. Uh, we do not know how the American government found out about our village, We are, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Betores Mendez. Alright, well, I'm sure we're going to be kicking him in the sacks a little bit later on. He, he definitely has a quad, by the way. He's not human. He's 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 got a, a large sack to kick. Um, okay. Looks like this place is empty. And I'm pretty sure we're not going this way. No, we are going this way because we can't get into the church yet. Ah, yes. The blue medallions. Right, let's go shoot up the rest of the farm. Hey, guys. We've got you there. You can get some eggs here as well, like if you're patient. There's a save typewriter there. Probably don't need it, in all fairness. What's our equipment like? We've got nearly 100 rounds. Yeah. We're doing okay. Oh. Oh, guys. Guys. Oh, my God. It's like wearing... I tell you what this inventory is reminding me of. It's reminding me of when you... When, when, you know, you've had a little bit too much fun at Christmas, right? You put a few extra pounds on and you try and squeeze your ass into a, a, a pair of jeans that used to fit. But now it's really tight and it's, it's compressing things in an uncomfortable way. That is what a small inventory is like in this game. It, that is exactly what it feels like in this game. And if you disagree, you're wrong. Right, we'll get that in a minute. Let's go deal with these dudes first. Leave the cocks alone. Hey, dude. Oh, you recovered a little bit quick, didn't you? Honestly. The hell's wrong with you, man? Recovered way too quick for my liking. Get on your knees, dude. There we go. That's how Leon kicks an ass or two. Right, it slices cheeks. Wiped his ass with me blade. Anybody else? 
Right, we might have got away with that. Hey, we've got an egg. Excellent. We'll take the egg just because. I don't think there's anything in here but some shitty water. Nothing in here except a stinking pool of manure. Yeah, I don't think that is actually a pool of manure, but, you know. What I like about this area as well is listen to the ambience, right? We will get the gun. I don't know if we're going to use the black tail. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the black tail is worth it over the standard handgun. I actually think the standard gun does more damage, but the black tail has piercing, but it does slightly less damage. But the fact that it does piercing in certain situations can be nice. You're gonna make me waste my bullets. Fine, we'll get the pearl pendant now. The couple of dudes over here. Out the way, chicken. Is that a chicken or is it a cock? I don't know. Come on. Oh, we can't get close enough. Are oh, you bastards? Fine, we're going to use a bullet. Probably going to alert all the locals. About the blue medallions. 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, will be rewarded. The rest is legible. All right. Okay, mystery man who's setting up these... Oh, lovely. Egg. Yes, we will certainly have the egg. Hey, dude. Come on. Come on, Farmer Joe. Let's get this over with. Nasty bit of business, but you understand it's got to be done. I have to find my really annoying friend. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Lord Sadler's not going to help you now. Once you turn into a pile of brown shit. Out of the way, chickens. Ah, you bastard. Ah, you bastard. There we go. I heard you drop down. I heard that. I can hear you. I can feel you. I can kill you. On your knees, son. Do you know who I am? Probably not. I'm the guy that apparently is going to stab you to death. Ooh, son of a bitch. I didn't realize we'd aggroed that guy. Come to Papa. I guess we could actually just knock him down from the ladder, but... Dude. Come on. Don't be a wanker, mate. Have another medallion as well, just because. Uh, let's eat some chicken eggs. Much better. Alright. Now he's disappeared into a pile of goo, but... That's okay. Let's go get another treasure. Give me all of the treasure. Ooh, one treasure. You got the beer stein. Excellent. Now, the beer stein is a treasure item that I'm sure pretty much everybody is familiar with. But we, although we can sell it now, if we hold on to it for a little bit, it will become monumentally more valuable, as some of the treasures in this game do. We'll take the spinel. Or spannel, however the fuck you want to say it. I don't really care. The money. The more money. The more money. Lovely. So much money. More money. Money is life in this game. Except when it's not. And in this run, it's not. Um, right. So. There is another medallion. Over there. Now, are the medallions... They are now highlighted. Cool. Alright. Fine. So, there should be another one here somewhere. Uh, I thought. No, it's behind us. Because I'm stupid. Ah, yes, of course. How silly of me. Go for a long shot with a pistol, which actually isn't that much of a long shot. Now, this is way better than using an analog stick. Just the fine aiming. 
the actual um, uh, the movement is horrible, but the fine aiming with the mouse is really nice. Okay. So let's get back up here. Now, I don't think there's anything over here. Not really. There's a box. And we've got you. Just... Come on. Oh, you bastard. There we go. Six. Now, where's... If I... There it is. There we go. Seven. Nice. I believe that was all of them. It was. Okay. Now, we can't do anything down here. I can't. I don't believe. I don't even think there's any loot here. There might be. No. Well, this door's locked anyway, so... No, it's not. We want to go the other way, then. Yeah, that's right, because that way... ...is where we need Ashley, don't we? It's all coming back to me. I literally only played this game... Um, ah, I want to say, like, a year ago, but it probably wasn't even that long ago, but... You know, that's forever ago to me. I have one of these like really cool memories where uh, I can play a game and then three days later I've forgotten everything about that game. I can play the, uh, the same game intensively over and over and over and over again. But, uh, you know, when I start playing it again, I'm literally a newborn baby that's never even touched the game before. I want 37 minutes. Holy shit. Alright, well, we better save it. Fuck me. Good thing that there's a save do whopper over here. Right, let's drop a save. I actually can't believe we've been recording for 37 minutes, but there we go. Right, so when we can come back, I guess we're going to continue killing things because that's what Leon does, I guess. I'm uh, going to find what's going on with a Saddler guy. And we're really going to be pushing the absolute limits of these basic base level weapons. I think it's going to be fun. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for the 1K. And I hope to see you in the next video.